clearly see the lodge. The whole thing is made out of log and stone and granite. Just beautiful. Today's Outdoor Secrets begins with two very different hunters. And I'm telling you, this was a little one. At two different locations. Whoever uh, is going to be guiding her will find out she hunts hard. Operated by the r &K Hunting Company. Good idea to shoot Carly. It always is when a guy gets to camp. Last fall, when my daughter Carly and I wanted a major western big game hunting fix, there was nobody else we'd turn to, so we made the trip out there together, double-checked our rifles upon arrival, and then sort of set out to hunt together separately, if you will. Carly began out in Utah at their beautiful South Fork facility for mule deer while I settled in at Wyoming's magnificent Queen Mountain Guest Ranch to do the same. Oh, yeah. Isn't that a beautiful animal? Well, you know, most people don't know that there are moose out here. Shiner's moose are a niche within a niche. It's not a bad little bug, but I think we can probably do a little bit better. Maybe a lot of bit better. After hopefully filling her tag there, we'll reunite in Wyoming where I'll continue my mule deer hunt and where Carly kicks off a new adventure for her, pronghorn antelope. Currently, the r &K Hunting Company, we have four different locations, four different camps, and three pristine lodges that we hunt out of. One in, up in Queen Mountain in Wyoming, one here at South Fork, and one down in Morgan, the Gailey. And then we have a tent camp in central Utah. See, that's what's so cool about this, the places you guys have here to hunt. Come around the corner, here's moose. Come around the corner, here's mule deer. Come around the corner, here's elk. At the R&K Hunting Company, we offer great accommodations for all different levels of hunting. Whether it's high country mule deer hunting that you want to do or just a specific elk hunt, we have great shirus moose, and we can accommodate all levels of, uh, of hunters, whether you're extremely experienced and want that high country, hiking, aggressive type of uh, atmosphere, or whether you have some physical limitations, uh, we can accommodate any of that here. Most of your time is spent pulling up on big ridges and looking down with your binoculars trying to find them, because they hide pretty well. From a personal standpoint, I love working at the RK Hunting Company. It's become a network of, of people and things that we do here that are they're awesome. I love the mountains, I love the animals. To be able to take a mule deer or, or elk is just a real exciting part of my life. I interact with each of these guides and with their families like they're my own. And so from a personal standpoint, being able to work for this company is great. And I think that that becomes an extension to each of the people that come out for these adventures is that they become part of our family. Good buck, good buck right there. He just stood up, he just stood up. All right, I'd say we're off to a pretty good start out west with RK Hunting Company. You know, there's no other outfitter I know that works harder or does a better job at making people's dreams come true. So, let's get back to Carly's in Utah, where she's in the middle of a really awesome mule deer hunt. We started out hunting with Carly looking for a buck that we called the ghost buck. Um, he's an old mature deer that we've had a hard time finding. He seems to disappear at the right moment, at the right time always, and we can't quite seem to pull the trigger on him. Uh, we hunted for him hard. We did spot a really big buck this morning, and it got really hot during the day, so now it's around like 5 o'clock, and we're hoping with the hot weather that he's going to come down to drink, and maybe we'll get a chance at him then. We saw him on the first day bedded, but he slipped away from us in the thick trees, and we weren't able to find him the next day. So we set up a plan to go look in a new area. We actually slept in, and we didn't leave until 6.45, which was nice, because, I mean, we'd been so tired from the hunts before. But we got out there, and they had a really good plan on what we should be doing. We got to the area at first and didn't really see much, just a couple of does. And then as we popped up over the top of the ridge, back to our right, we could see uh, three bucks. And so very calmly, we got out, got set up. Is he okay? He's like, do you like it? And I think that's really important that he asks you if 
it's something you feel comfortable taking. And I was. I thought, you know, this is a really good buck. This is a good opportunity. He's in close range. He's not going anywhere. He's just standing there looking at us. So we were able to calmly get out, set up the sticks, move to where we needed to move, and take the shot we needed to take. It was about a 138 yard shot on this buck and killed him in one shot. Wow. Oh, you so much. Thank you. As a hunting guide, I myself am a hunter. I love to hunt. I hunt year round, anything I possibly can. And the gratification and satisfaction that I get as a hunting guide to help someone else have the experience of a lifetime is truly something that I can't get away from. Well done. Thank you. Second meal deer ever. Really? Yep. Second one ever? Ever. That's why as guides we come back every year and work hard to find the right animals, to help the right people, and to make sure that a client has a great adventure here with RNK and has the experience of a lifetime. Wow, oh, that didn't just happen. I can't believe that. That's like the first or second deer I even saw today. And we just walked right up and that was it. The buck that uh, Carly was able to harvest, is a, it's a good buck. The hands are still like... We have higher end bucks, we have some lower. So that's a good average buck for our place. And uh, Carly killed a very nice buck. I felt so confident in doing it. And you guys were so like adamant. And you're like, go get him, like you can do it. And it just, it makes you feel like you have faith in yourself. I mean, most of the time I'm just kind of like, I think I can, I think I can. But this time I was like, I know I can. Like never done it before like that. And here we are a couple minutes later with a big old buck. Continuing now with the RK Hunting Company, we're after Carly's awesome mule deer hunt in Utah. Her hands are still like. Now she and I'll finish up our trip out in Wyoming. If they cross, it'll probably be down here. My goal is to hold out only for a true trophy mule deer buck, and Carly's taking off for a big antelope. The shooting sticks, do you want me to carry them? Do you want to carry them? Um, whatever works best. Okay. Um, why don't I carry them? We'll get ready, you know, probably as we're walking. The sage is tall enough that most of your shots are going to be probably standing or at least kneeling. We'll set the height so that we're ready. So that, you know, we can get you on it and you can acquire the, get the antelope in the scope, be ready for the shot. So I've been able to watch my mom and dad hunt out here at r &K, and it's always looked like such a fun trip. And my mom, I mean off camera, she'd come home and she'd tell me, oh, we're gonna love it there. So beautiful, and it has been. It's been such a wonderful experience. I think just because of the sheer number, there's more animals there, chances of finding a bigger one are probably a lot better. They have you out on a Polaris Ranger, which is really nice. You can scoot around. You, you don't have to hike up hills and run out of breath because of elevation issues. Like, you get where you need to go, and they make sure that you're there safely. Have you had your eye on a couple that are bigger? I personally haven't. Rambo spends a lot of time out there. Well, I was in Wyoming. We had Brett and Rambo as our guides, and they were incredible. I mean, we've seen so many antelopes, so many more than I've ever seen in my entire life. Can we get him? How far is he? You never feel uncomfortable. You never feel unable to do something. You don't feel like you have to impress them. I mean, they're there to help you, and that's really good about hunting because sometimes people pressure you into stuff and they make you feel like, oh, it's kind of too far, maybe you shouldn't do it. They make you confident in yourself. So the guides, they really know the area well. I mean, it's their job, but it's incredible. They, they know every hill, they know every little valley, they know how to get where we need to be. Pipeline signs, two white ones and orange ones. Whenever we saw an antelope, we were able to stalk up to it. They had a plan, they always had a plan in mind. So it wasn't like you saw it and you were like, well, how am I gonna get over there? They made sure you got there and you did it right. It's like, I think I can do it, but it's moving so much that I don't know. What do you think of it? It's good prong. It's a good prong. When we saw my antelope, he was about a mile or so away, and we decided this is the one we want to go after for sure. There was a dried up creek bed we were able to follow like over a mile up to my animal, and he didn't even know that we were there. 
when usually like the antelope are so jumpy you can't get within like 400 yards of them. And my buck didn't even care because we had such a good approach to get up to him. What are you seeing? Um, I don't see his head, but I see his body. It wasn't like a hard, intense walk either. It was just really calm, collected. We took our time. We did what we needed to do. We stopped along the way for a couple rests. But we made it up there about 20 minutes before the sun went down. It's almost where you need to be. You got grass in the way, that fence book. Wait till he's right. My buck was standing right there. There were no other antelope around him, which was really nice because usually, you know, they're in a big herd or there's two bucks and you get confused at which one you're going after. But he was all by himself right at the top of the hill. Anytime you're ready. It was an incredible experience. I mean, I've never shot an antelope before. Get down. Yes, that just happened. As if it was really the stick shaking. <laughs> oh, this happens every time. I, just, I don't even know what to do with my hands. I just want to cry and scream at the same time and take off running. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I'm just... We did it, we did it, we did it. We did it. We did it, that whole mile walk, everything, that was all for this moment. All those missed chances was all leading up to this. It's a good buck. That's my first say hello. Oh, thank you so much. And to have done it with people around me that made me that happy and that comfortable was a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, there's a lot of camps you can go to, a lot of antelope you can shoot, but I'm never gonna forget that one. <laughs> Jeez. It's pretty big. It's a good buck. We did it. We've seen so many antelope. We hunted by the camp, we hunted out here, we hunted all over the place. We tried a couple spot and stocks, we tried everything to get something in close enough, and it was blowing like crazy, like a hurricane yesterday. So every time I'd pull my gun up to shoot, the wind would just knock it all over the place, so I never really felt comfortable taking the shot. And today, this was the last buck we saw, and it happened to be bigger than any of the others that we saw. So we made a one-mile walk in stock up to him, and he was standing perfectly broadside, 150 yards, with nothing around him, no does, no anything. I made a good shot right through the lungs, and here we are, the best day of my life with my first antelope, thanks to r &K. Cool. Very quickly, my number one goal for our trip together out west has been accomplished. Carly took two beautiful animals. Me, I'm still in search of the mule deer buck of my dreams. It's a nice buck. But why don't I just be totally upfront and tell you in advance how that never happened for me on this outing? I had set very high trophy standards and came prepared to pass should the buck I'm looking for ever show up. This is what makes hunting. Being out here sneaking like this, seeing the group we just seen, a uh, herd of elk, we jumped three different bucks so far going down through here. This last one was a fairly good one. I don't think it's something I wanted to kill, but it was still a fairly good buck. Most certainly, that had nothing to do with having an awesome experience with R&K Hunting Company, who does everything imaginable to put people over the animals of their highest hopes. This is the little valley I was telling you about. We got a water hole down here. There's a couple of big bucks in the area. Any time you spend out in the wilds, there's so much to take away from the sights and sounds seen and heard. Like right here. Nice, but not what I was looking for. He's a little bit young. I saw lots of elk too, which always gets me going. For every one of these critters, you know, there'll always be special spots in my heart for each one of them. You look at an elk and you, um, memories just start flooding black, you know? They're such majestic animals. 
Hey, ever see a mountain lion up close and personal? We snuck up within 20 yards. It's like a young one, huh? <laughs> it's such a rarity even out here and a sight that very few people will ever witness. And into the trees. Day after day, I just kept hunting and loving it all. There he is. I can't see him yet. No, there are three of them. Right there. They're not that big. They're uh, just nice three and a half year olds. There was another one right in this opening here that slipped up this way. Like I said, I never did harvest a mule deer that lived up to my standards on this trip, but so what? On this particular trip, I did set my trophy standards pretty high. But any trophy hunter who isn't prepared to go home empty-handed should never set a high mark in the first place. It's the challenge of being selective and only pulling the trigger on a cream of the crop monster that makes the proposition so incredible. You know, the older Carly gets, the more she learns and gets excited about all types of hunting. And I guess it's fair to say that she's had much more opportunity than most her age. In that way, I know she feels very fortunate, but for me, it's such a wonder to see her passion and her expertise for hunting grow. And isn't that really how it goes for everyone? The more you do something you love, the more eager you are to scratch an itch. Of course, as a father, I'm as proud as a peacock of each and every one of her accomplishments, whatever the case may be. I also feel awesome for the style and class she demonstrates while hosting her hunts in an effort to present good hunting to all of you fine folks. Bit by bit, she's become a better communicator, and I just love it when a show like today is filled with her success. Great job, honey. That's a nice antelope, honey. Good job. Thank you. Oh, I knew you would. I told him you could shoot. I'd like to give a big thanks to my dad and to R&K because it's been a great trip. It's been a great last couple of days. My dad has always made it a big point in his life to make sure that I follow the same passion he has to walk in his footsteps, learn the most I can learn, take out the most I can take from the land, from the people, from the animals, and do the best I can do. And he's really given me a great opportunity here. So thank you, dad. And for any of you trying to hook up with the perfect Western outfitter that'll take care of your every want and need for any big game hunting of any type, there's none better or with more widespread opportunities than the R&K Hunting Company. They take care of absolutely everything in such a professional manner that all you have to do is show up and enjoy your hunt to the absolute fullest. Seriously. I can't recommend them more, so do yourself a favor and get a hold of them very soon. You know, for those of us living somewhere other than Western Big Game Country, like we saw today in Utah and Wyoming, the number of animals is so mind-boggling. Just seeing them and spending time out in that rugged terrain for a while somehow makes everything in life feel better, almost stress-free and satisfied. And I'll bet that many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, everybody, hey, good hunting.